Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today is done, and hopefully there'll be another. So just relax. If only sometimes we could tell our mind that, isn't it? Do you know, I spend so much of my time worrying about the smallest of things, and sometimes I try to take a moment to reflect on that. Sometime in the evening, just when... Those sort of times where you could really do with some time just to bring your thoughts together and just to kind of clear out the day's stresses and worries. Sounds easy, doesn't it? But it certainly is not. The one thing I try to ask myself more and more, especially as I approach into my later 20s and especially through having my world turned upside down through losing somebody very, very close to me this year. In May, I lost my grandmother, my nan, who I am extremely very, very close to, and is my world. I struggle on a daily basis, I'll be honest, um, and it's very, very difficult. Her passing has left me has left me kind of looking at life in a different way. Sometimes I struggle to actually look at life in, and actually to see the future ahead. But very often, and something which a lot of people can relate to, is how often we stress and we worry about so much in our life. And yet actually, when you look at it, when you actually look at what those things mean to us, usually the smallest little silliest things we worry about actually has no real influence over our actual life and what really truly matters. Now, seeing the way my grandmother went out of this world and looking after her and being with her for a very long time, um, I always wish I could do, I could have done more. I always, I always fret about that. I just wish that I could have given the world to my nan and she could have had so much more of a wonderful time in her later years of life. She had Alzheimer's. So seeing the way of which my nan, I don't want to say, there was a very horrific episode which happened with my nan and seeing how much was taken off of her throughout this episode and it was very quick um of about two days it really did i remember thinking in this time that looking at here the person who i love and i cherish and i adore so very much that actually all the smallest worries in the world mean nothing especially if somebody so precious and so wonderful and special leaves this world like this but yet i spend my day sometimes wrapped up in the smallest little worries and stresses which are a huge thing to me in that moment and actually they mean very little because actually number one they they don't add another day they don't add another minute to your life so i thought to myself and i try to tell myself this every day that actually my nan taught me the very last lesson she taught me was that life is incredibly, incredibly precious, and we should value every single moment of it. There are so many opportunities in this world, in this life, that it's up to us to grasp them. I always say that our life is like a written book, and my nan always, always used to say, I could really write a book about my life, my love. Number one, I wish with all my heart she would have, but she was such a very, very busy, busy lady. She never got round to doing something like that. My nan was, is so so caring and family was everything to her so even into her 90s my nan was still very very much worrying about family and worrying about different ones who she knew needed a little bit more guidance a little bit more direction in life so having said that when you think about it if you've had a tough day if you've had a really difficult day this day is done there's nothing we can do there's nothing we can even tell ourselves which will bring the day back, but we can tell ourselves to shut this day down and move forward. Take a breath, enjoy your evening, spend it with the ones you love and spend it doing the things you enjoy. Tomorrow, if we're blessed with another day, is another day where we get to do all over again. And the thing is, if something makes you unhappy, try and change it. If somebody isn't treating you right, try and address it. If somebody is making, say for example, is stopping you from growing or is stopping your development, whether it be in yourself, whether it be at work. Speak up, talk about it. This life is so full of adventure and opportunity. We just have to find it. And sometimes it can be staring us right in front of our face. 
When we get bogged down into that Monday to Friday routine, to me, that is really, really dangerous because what you find yourself doing is wishing on a Monday that it's a Friday. And if you're doing that, something is really, really very, very wrong. Yeah, it's 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 normal for everybody to sometimes get a little bit worn down, a little bit tired, and even in the most amazing job, want to want to sort of aspire for it to be the weekend. And that is completely different. But if you are thinking on Monday morning when you are going to your job, when you're turning on your computer, and you're thinking, what is life all about? Where am I going? Then you and you're striving for the weekend already, and it's only half past nine on Monday morning, you know that something has to change. Think about what I said. How I seen my nan, the most incredible, incredible, beautiful lady, inside and out, my nan left this world in in quite an awful, awful way, which I won't go into, which breaks my heart on a daily basis. And I think to myself now, if I have a week like this, do you know, I, I, I sort of tell myself, today's done. You finish today, tomorrow's another day. How Nan went out of this world, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to her, to embrace it, to grab hold of it with both hands and run with it. Now that may sound difficult and it's not always easy, I certainly know that. But hypothetically, you can break that down, you can do it in small pieces. So you can think to yourself, this week, I've not done something I really, really enjoy for a long, long time. You're going to do it. In the following week, you could think to yourself, OK, last week was brilliant. You could actually think, do you know what? I could change something. And whether that be speaking to your employer about flexible working or whether that be actually, I'm going to start planning for a break. Doing something for you is so, so vitally important. It's all about the balance, isn't it? It's all about the balance. And the thing is, when you think about it, those small little things we tie ourselves up and often run away with so much time mean very, very little in the grand scheme of life, doesn't it, really? When you think of it, how precious life is when no one, not any one of us, knows when it is going to come to an end. Sadly, when I am in a real dark moment, I turn the news on and it does not take you long to realize how privileged you are in this life, how privileged we are in this life. When you see babies, children, young men and women, teenagers, all the way up to elderly age, a hundred and beyond, and you see horrific things go on. And what always gets me out of a home is when you hear of a child or something like that, and you hear these horrific stories and you think to yourself, I don't have a right, when someone has gone through that, I do not have a right to feel the way I do. Yes, of course you do, but it just gives you that sort of, that sort of push to think, actually, Bradley, do you know what? We get one life. Let's make the most of it. Get on with it. Write your book how you'd like somebody else to read it. So with that said, this day is done. It's done. It could have been a good one. Hopefully it was a good one. Tomorrow, you hopefully get to do it all over again. Isn't that a fantastic thing to think about? Don't ever go through life where somebody makes you feel bad or a situation is making you feel bad and you think you cannot change it you can change it. Life is a blessing. And I think that is what's wrong so much with society. Everybody thinks that they are owed something or they think that they are owed the perfect life. We have to work hard for things. And I think that does nobody that, that I think that does you good to think that you have that perception that to want these nice things in life, we have to work hard. To want high positions in life, we have to work hard. I think the day somebody starts thinking, someone's just going to give that to me, or that's just going to come along my way. It won't. Sometimes people get lucky. And you know what? Luck can be to try through many, many things. Some, I think, is amazing where somebody in an awful bad situation gets this small gesture of luck, and then they're on their way in life. And I think that is amazing. But how awful is it when you sometimes see in life the most nastiest person, or when somebody's done something and they get this huge bout of luck? Don't worry about it. It's not your life. Concentrate on yours. So I hope that makes sense. It's something I wanted to get off my chest that, think about it, today is done. If you've had a bad day at the office, if you've had a bad day, you've had an argument with someone, today is done. Tomorrow is another and it's a blessing. Grab it with both hands and run with it.
And going back to that personal sort of, uh, that personal part of the story, which I've told you about back in May of losing my nan. When I think back to how I lost my nan and I have a down day and I think to myself, do you know what? What stressed me out today? When you think of how much of a beautiful person I lost and the way they went out of this world, what I'm worrying about really is nothing in comparison. It really is nothing in comparison. Because let me let you into a secret. My nan, bless her, didn't lie. She didn't lie where she was lying when she was leaving this world, thinking about all the small, tiny things which bothered her on a day to day basis. The things that was going for her mind was the wonderful things in her life, her family, memories, what was happening right in that moment. So what I try and tell myself is if someone spoke vile to me, or if someone's tried to take the work I've done, or if someone's tried to... All those horrible things, let it go. I always say bless them. Because what it does is you let yourself breathe, you let yourself go, let go of those emotions. And it's not easy, you have to practice this. And actually what you are doing is you're giving yourself more headspace to breathe. And actually you can get to the end of the day and you can go, do you know what, today was a difficult day, but I got through it. I got through it. And then you get to do it all over again the following. And you learn, you build, and through that you gain life experience and you end up being a more stronger, resilient person towards life. But you also get to enjoy the good things in life. You get to value things more. You get to have so much more of that rich, um, that richness in life, that better quality. It's not easy. And sometimes I am riddled with worry and fear. But what I do now, since losing my nan, is I actually take a moment and I think, and I look at my nan's picture, and I think to my, and I do my prayers, and I speak to the Lord above, and I think to myself, do you know what? What do these actual small things mean? And when you talk about it out loud, which is another tip, it really means very little in the grand scheme of things. But if you're healthy and you're well, and you have your loved ones around you, and you have your memories, if you have lost somebody, they will always be here. What does the small things bother us so much sometimes? What do they really matter? They matter to you, of course, in that moment. But in the grand scheme of things, sometimes letting go does so much for us. And realising the last time I'm going to say this, that today is done. Nothing's going to bring it back. Tomorrow is a blessing. Grab it with both hands. I really, really hope that that does give you a little bit more of where I am at the moment. How sort of you may be thinking, what absolute philosophical rubbish is he coming out with? But no, think about it. It's coming from somebody who's had to learn for having their heart ripped out and having to face day upon day and having to take step upon step. Getting back to a, a normal way of looking at life, which, of course, so many people have had to do throughout the pandemic. OK, so my love and very, very best wishes to you. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for watching this. I wish you well. And as we go into the festive season, season, <laughs> season, stay well, stay healthy and talk, be open. And remember, try not to take yourself so literal all the time. Try not to take it so seriously all the time. After all, get through this day. If it's a bad one, if it's an absolute corker for you, it will end and brighter days will follow. I always try and say that in the darkest of times, there is light. Sometimes we've just got to try and find it. OK, from my heart to yours, thank you very, very much for watching. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.